Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Slapstick, who happens to be the member's pick of the month. He made his first appearance in the self-titled Slapstick, issue number one, that was released in November of 1992. His real and complete name is Stephen Winsor McKay Harmon, also being known by several aliases, including The Living Cartoon. Now, before his transformation, Steve was a 5 foot 7 inch male that weighed 145 pounds, having blue eyes and strawberry blonde hair. Although in his altered form, his height and weight are variable, and he has yellow eyes with fuchsia colored hair. Now, after the molecules of his body were altered into unstable living molecules known as electroplasm, he gained low level superhuman strength, speed, agility, and endurance. With it being noted that his strength can be boosted well into mid-tier range if he's hit with enough electricity, such as lightning. His new form also naturally gives him a very malleable physiology, being able to easily stretch and bend at any angle that he needs. Which brings us to his durability. And to make a long story short, he's not in Image Comics, but he's definitely invincible. With there being no means to truly take him down for good. To go on, Slapstick also has very special gloves, with the left one giving him the ability to hold his unstable form together as well as change back and forth between his human and cartoonish forms, while his right glove has the ability to carry a pocket dimension. From here is where he pulls out an almost infinite amount of devices and weapons, most notably his trusty giant hammer, which he nicknames Gertie. And to round all of this out, Slapstick also can break the fourth wall, regularly talking to us readers with all the characters around him just ignoring him, thinking that he's crazy. Now, Steve was born and raised in Plainview, New Jersey, being a jokester and problem child for many years. On one fateful day, Steve would try to get back at one of his fellow students named Winston, who got him in trouble at school. For his elaborate plot, he would dress up as a clown and follow Winston and his date Heather to an odd new carnival that was in town. But before he could play his trick on them, he would see them get taken by several clowns and would grab a huge mallet and follow them into a portal that was in a funhouse. Steve made it through at the very moment it was closing, causing a huge energy burst that stretched his molecules across the multiverse and caught the attention of very sensitive beings such as Silver Surfer, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, and even Howard the Duck. This is when his body would be transformed into electroplasm, and he'd find himself in a domain mistakenly called Dimension X, which is actually pronounced Dimension Etch. This place was populated by evil clowns that were ruled by a being known as the Overlord. But Steve was assisted by the scientist supreme of this dimension, who helped him pull his molecules together and gave him his two very advanced new gloves. He would go on to defeat the Overlord and free other Earthlings that were trapped there as well. We would subsequently see him back on Earth causing trouble and doing heroics as well. Battling against villains like the Punisher copycat known as the Overkiller, the super intelligent mutant child known as Oliver Denton, and even a vagrant that gets explosively upset at the high price of coffee known as the Neutron Bum. We'd see Slapstick ally himself with various heroes such as the Ghost Rider and his friend Speedball even becoming a member of the New Warriors and the 50 State Initiative, not to mention volunteering with the Damage Control Organization. During this time, he'd play key roles with the Avengers Resistance, as well as the Fear Itself storyline, battling against the powerful Cole Borsund and his elite worthy. But after Slapstick's antics caused some run-ins, and he got disillusioned with his teammates, we'd see him join Deadpool's outrageous Mercs for Money team, taking on paid campaigns alongside several other vigilantes, all of whom were posing as Deadpool. But as time went on, he and the others would get more and more disgruntled with Deadpool, especially when he figured out that Deadpool was being funny with their money. Now, for his powers and abilities, and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Slapstick a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.